Cause the Civic ain't a Maybach Then she I'll tell y'all about uh, Man, I'll tell y'all about Early college days Let's go So we headed over there Looking hella So Every piece of jewelry was faker than my ID I may have profited the video but I used to have a, a video on my channel, the main channel, from like 2015, 2016 maybe. Probably earlier than that, 20, 2015 I think. And it was called um, Easy ENT, like Easy Entertainment, Easy ENT Mansion Party Promo Vid. I don't know if anybody's seen that while. I, I'm pretty sure I put it on private by now. If not, it could still be up. But um, what me and my friends used to do, it used to be three of us. Me, my friend Nate, my friend uh, Sam, and my friend Cameron. And we would each call ourselves, like obviously I was Berlizzi, it was Cam Easy, Nate was Neezy, and my boy Sam was uh, was Sam Easy, but y'all might actually know about him. His name is, he, he go by DJ, DJ Switch now. He makes a lot of music, but this is a lot of beats for like the West Coast and you know, he's starting to get his name out there a lot, but we've been doing, he's been doing that shit since he was in a dorm. At Long Beach State. Anyway. So. What we used to do. To make money. And just to kind of get our name out there. Because obviously I was doing the YouTube thing. Sam was into producing beats. Trying to get his name out there. Nate just like girls. And Cam was. Uh, he ran track for the for the college. So. Everybody had they, had they network. Bruh. We would, we would uh, look on Airbnb and find like warehouses or houses and just uh, rent them for like a night or two and throw a fat ass party. But then we would shoot a music video there. Uh, so the first time that we had did it was for Halloween, probably like 2015, 2016. It was in somebody's backyard and the party started at 9. Party started at 9, the cops was there by 11.30. We was charging like $5, $5 a head to get in. And I kid you not, we shot a music video and that shit looked like, honestly, it looked like, it looked like Project X Jr. The way that it was shot, cause it was like, it was authentic, it was a real party. And like we would just like rap our verses one by one and like come out the party, rap our verses, have a girl dancing on us. I don't know where that video is. So we do that, right? We throw the video up on YouTube. Um, I pay I pay somebody a lot of money if I can get that video back off um, back on my channel. But anyway, so we we have success with the Halloween party, so we're like, all right, cool. Uh, spring break, we're gonna throw another one. We're gonna do it in a in a mansion. So we we go to Anaheim Hills, which is like, bruh, Anaheim Hills is like, it's like, you don't know like Real Housewives of of Orange County, like that's like that area. Mansions all up in the hills, right? Three, Bro. Two, we one, shoot the promo video, go. the one that I just told y'all about, on YouTube, the mansion party, and it's got like a lot of people, a lot of well-known people at the time, kind of influencers, but it was like influence before they was influencers, before the followers and stuff. We shoot the video, we shoot the video uh, at the place when we go check it out, because you know, obviously you gotta go scope it out. It's a huge ass house, y'all. Like, oh my gosh, huge! And, and it, I'm pretty sure it was like eight bedrooms with like a back house, big ass pool. The front yard looked like it could have been, bro. You could have played a decent soccer game, like 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 a high school football field, like a high school soccer field, like the practice fields that they be having. It could have easily been one of those on a slant though, like on a hill. So imagine like, like here here's the street, then you got a big ass hill. Then, like, you're, like you, you turn into your gate, you go up like this, and then there's your house. So you have all this hill right here just for, like, space to do shit. So we're like, cool. Night of the party comes, bro. This this is, this is a bad story, by the way. Like, it doesn't end with anybody getting hurt, but, like, this, this, this doesn't end well. So night of the party. Yeah. We got... We got like three of our homegirls behind the behind the makeshift bar. Mind you, I don't even think any of us are legal. I may have been 20 or 21, but everybody coming to that party, we was checking IDs. 
just to make sure they was adults, but it was open bar. Like we we was walking. Like three of our own girls serving the drinks. This shit loud as fuck in my ear. Um and the night the night comes, right? We got everybody at their station. My cousin and his boys doing security at the friendly gate. I'm collecting the money, sitting down, people come talk to me. We charge people twenty dollars a head to get into this party. Um so I would take the money. Oh no no no. So my, my boy would be the one being like negotiating the, the, the deals or whatever or the, the prices. And then I would collect the money and put it in the shoebox to the county. Group. Well obviously I was still doing YouTube at the time. Yeah, Mo, see, you seen it. That was a girl I used to I used to talk to. Uh anyway. Yeah, we were trying to be with twenty dollars to get to this party. We 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 don't know who we thought we were. But like everybody was there, bro. When I say when I say all of the Southern California colleges, like the Cal States and the UC, UC Irvine was there. People from Riverside was there. People from uh, Berkeley was up there. People from uh, UCLA, USC was up there. It was really like a college focused party. Mind you, because we're all in school. Earlier that day, I was filming vlog footage. So I had my camera out and I was just like recording everything. I'm I had my laptop out, but then like the night just came out of nowhere and we was like, okay, get to our stations. Maybe like, maybe, like, I, I maybe counted like, I maybe counted like a hundred people's money. There was a hundred people was in the house. Maybe a little bit more than that. And it dawned on me. I left my fucking laptop and my camera out on the couch. And so I go inside and I don't see it. And... I'm like, okay, maybe somebody put it up for me. So I go back to my station. This is a MacBook, bro. A MacBook and a Canon T3i Rebel, which at the time, it was like a, it was like every vlogger camera. I'm like, what the fuck? So I go back to my station. I'm sorry, count of money, count of money, count of money, count of money. Bro, I've probably seen like, like 300 people enter the house. And people was walking by each other like shoulder to shoulder could barely move could barely move I go to the backyard and, my, and mind you like we're still drinking like this is going on So as the night's going on nobody's bringing my laptop my camera I'm starting to get like super frustrated and like sad like I, I was pretty sad because I knew I wasn't Gonna get that back tonight, and I had a lot of shit on there But I knew from the party like how much we had made like we was all leaving with a decent amount of money that night Tell me why I go in the backyard, just walking, just trying to trying to get inside. The pools flooded the backyard. They got motherfuckers uh, throwing up in the side of the in the side of the uh, in the side of the backyard. We go in the bathrooms, niggas. It's like it's just musty in there. I think at that point I was like, Yo, what what did, what did we gain for this? This song is not it. I'm like, bro, we did not gain. We, we really didn't win this time. And so I call my mom while I'm at the party and I'm like, mom, like, somebody stole my laptop up here. And she was like, no way. I go home that night and mind you, like, my mom, she don't want to see me drunk or like turned up or nothing like that. I go home that night, I'm like, mom, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I have my whole life on there, my schoolwork, my videos, which at the time wasn't even exposed yet. And so, the next day comes, I'm like, I'm gonna try to find it on find my iPhone. I click it, and it ends up leading me to some house in, in Norwalk. Some house in Norwalk, which isn't too far from where we was partying at last night, so I'm pretty sure it was there. Uh, so I call my cousin up, the one that was working security the, uh, the night before, right, at the party, and I'm like, yo, I think I know where my laptop is, it's leading me to this house. Like, come, come check it out with me. He goes, I'll be there, 30 minutes. That's the kind. That's the kind of cousin that you need, bro. Like the cousin, the kind of cousin that you that you should be, that you should aspire to be. If you got cousins. Anyway, so uh, he pulls up, and we head to the address, which turns out to be an apartment complex. This is, it, and you know, obviously we don't know whose unit it is. It just gives us a general address to go try try and find it. So there's four like little little apartments. 
We knock it one by one, one by one. Nobody's answering. Until we go to this third one, it's this, uh... It's this... It's this Asian man, bro. Like, like... And I just knew, I was like, bro, there's no way he was at the party or like... Your son was at the... Your son might have been at the party. So he opens up the door and he's like, hey, so, you know, uh, last night my iPhone was stolen from my from my premises and or my, my computer stolen from my premises and it, I was able to track it back to this location. Like, do you have anybody in the party that could have been at such and such last night? I was like, no, 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 I promise, no. All right. So we leave. And, uh, yeah, that was, that was probably... One of the wildest nights of my life. Let me see actually if I can find. Because there was this dude, his name was KG Stacks Up. And he used to go to all the parties and kind of record them. Let me see if I can find that on this channel. Oh no, I think he might have deleted them. But yeah, man, it was a. Uh, Wild times. That was probably like one of the wildest parties I've ever been to. And we threw it trying to make a profit. I couldn't get my laptop back. I walked away with a decent amount of money that night though. I was able to replace it for sure. Replace my camera, not my computer. That shit was. I know, right? That's the moral of the story. Like, had I just. Had I just chilled at home, bro. Instead of. Instead of doing all that. You know, and half the time none of that shit was my idea. I feel like I feel like people just kind of invited me to do shit like that because they knew I was the guy like walking around with the camera and at least trying. That's the thing. A lot of people don't try shit. A lot of people are just consumers. They don't they don't be producing shit. And that that was what you know. That's what he was trying to do is get that name out there, Easy ENT. We know what the fuck it meant. We just entertainment. <laughs> All he was said, I would have been like, bro, move over. We would have scanned this whole house. That's what he would have had any. Every, we would have had everything in his right to pull out his machete and, and shove it right through your skull. I wish I would get my machete, my, my, my machete skull, get my skull machete for a MacBook, 13 inch, not even the 15. <laughs> 